享受今晚丰富的节目。我的今晚的主持会以英文为主，呃，请各位说中文的来宾朋友们，呃，尽量谢谢。Uh, throughout the last three years of our dialogue, across both Kanpai Japan and the cultural tangle with Hong Kong, one thing has remained a constant, that one of the best ways to learn about one's own culture is to learn more about another's. And that is why this year's artistic direction, to sum it up in a word, is learning. The Taiwan Fest team visited Cebu in the Philippines earlier this year to do just that, and we can't wait to share all that we've learned with you. Growth can only happen dialogue from one heart to another heart. And as the philanthropist Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in a language that he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. If you don't believe me, maybe you'll believe our partners in learning and festival co-producer, Art Defense Center and Director of Cultural Engagement, Laura McLeod, please. on our space, I can't help but think about home and dialogue and place. I grew up north of Toronto along the Nottawasaga River, and I work hard to remember where I've come from so it informs where I'm going. Let us then remember and acknowledge that the land on which we gather right now is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, the Huron-Wendat, and the Mississaugas of the New Credit. We acknowledge these nations and any other indigenous peoples, including the Métis, who have called the land on which Toronto is built home. Harborfront Center strives to honor this land by sharing our space with all people, those indigenous to Turtle Island and those from all around the world. On behalf of Mara Gray, CEO of Harborfront Center, I would like to begin by welcoming to this communal place. Charlie Wu, Managing Director of the Asian Canadian Special Events Association and his team from Vancouver. What a joy to work with. The Taiwanese Canadian Association of Toronto, honored guests and representatives from all levels of government, the dedicated long-time Taiwan Fest volunteers, and all of you here tonight to our 10-acre campus on Toronto's beautiful waterfront. We are pleased to partner for the 13th edition of Taiwan Fest here at Harborfront and once again present some of the finest Taiwanese artists. The Dialogues with Asia series continues this year with Fest with the Philippines, a theme that celebrates the lessons and inspirations of our cultural mosaic, a toast to the future of our cross-cultural exchange. There is so much choice this weekend, I don't know where to begin. I encourage you to watch the culinary competitions. They're real and they're fierce. My daughter, who is here tonight, is learning the ukulele, so I think we'll check out the youth, wor youth workshops with Kate Funk. But of course, a real cultural touch point will be, be the jeepney the most popular means of public transport in the Philippines, right here on our site. <laughs> Whatever you decide to take part in this weekend, I hope you enjoy yourselves here at Harborfront Center. Back for Danny. Thank you, Laura. And now to speak a uh, few sentences on behalf of the co-organizer, the Taiwanese Canadian Association in Toronto. Please join me welcoming President Kevin Lin. Good evening, everyone. Uh, how's everybody's uh, night today? Good? Okay, so first of all, like, uh, my name is Kevin. I'm representing uh, TCAT, Taiwanese Canadian Association of Toronto, with uh, this year's uh, co organizer. Uh, it's always our pleasure to uh, bring our uh, Taiwan's uh, uh, intent like, to come here and, and to present to everybody. And then, uh, really happy to see everybody and, and hope you guys uh, stay. Uh, coming tomorrow, Sunday, and also Sunday, to experience more, and then especially this year we uh, collaborate with uh, Philippine, uh, Philippine FB. Uh, 很高兴欢迎呃今天大家来我们的开幕。那就是在这边呃，先首先跟大家欢迎一下，然后请大家明天跟后天也一定要来参加，因为有很丰富的、呃、内容，那有可以很
播的机会跟很多的 feedback 可以呃拿回家。那我就不呃耽误大家太多的时间，谢谢各位。那等下就请大家多那个 enjoy 这个 orchestra， 谢谢。Now speaking on behalf of our uh, government sponsors, we're marked by the Taipei Economic Cultural Office in Toronto, Director General Catherine Xu. Good, good, morning, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Toronto, I'm privileged and honored to be here with you. Taiwan is well known as the largest and the most popular cultural event in Canada to showcase Taiwan's culture. And in recent years, uh, Taiwan Fest um, further um, introduces the Dialogue with Asia series to find connections and to explore exchanges between Taiwan culture and other Asian cultures. I think these efforts show to the people that Taiwan culture is not only rich, um, diverse, beautiful, but also it's uh, friendly, it's very friendly, it's open and inclusive. So I'd like to thank the organizers, including Asian uh, Canadian Special Events Association from Vancouver, led by Charlie Wu, uh, the Taiwanese Canadian Association of Toronto, led by Kevin Lee, and other partner associations for their great effort, for their great work. Um, they not only I, uh, make this tonight's event possible, this event possible, to enrich, well, Canadians uh, multicultural, to showcase Taiwan's culture and the Philippines' culture, but also I think they bring more understandings, appreciations, and friendships to the com communities here in Canada. So I'd like to thank them very much. And the theme of this year's uh, Taiwan Fest is the fact with the Philippines, to dialogue with the Philippines. And these coincide with Taiwan's new South-Sound policy to enhance our relations with the Philippines. Um, so the, 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 the time uh, when Taiwan Fest having this uh, dialogue with the Philippines is on the right timing. I think it's very meaningful. And furthermore, tonight I'd like to especially recognize a person who contributed greatly to the friendship among Canadians, Taiwanese, and Filipinos. That is the late Honorable Senator Tobias Emberga. Senator Emberga was a respected Filipino Canadian politician and also a good friend of Taiwan. I remember he always said that we are all brothers and sisters. He was here last year on the same evening, the same occasion, and he was very excited about this year's festival. He said that we get to work together to make it big, to celebrate together our cultures and our friendships. Unfortunately, he passed away um, in November during an official trip uh, abroad. But tonight, I'd like to present a commemorative plaque uh, on behalf of the government's representative to Canada, Ambassador Winston Chen in Ottawa, to the late senator's family, Madame Rosemary and Berga, and their adorable daughter. This is to recognize the late Honorable Senator's support to Taiwan and the Taiwanese community in Canada. This is also to recognize the strong and lasting friendships that he built among us. So I'd like to end uh, invite the TCAT president, Kevin Lee, to join me to present this plaque to Madame Emberga. Madame Emberga would 
like to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank Director General Kang Chu, the organizers of this uh, Taiwan Fest, Fest with the Philippines, organizers uh, the Asian Canadian Special Events Association. Did I say that right? Headed by uh, Charlie Wu and TCAT, Taipei Canadian Association of Toronto, headed by Kevin Lee. Good evening. And uh, this is a great privilege to be accepting this posthumous certificate for my husband, the late Senator Inverga. As you know, Senator Inverga Jr. and I have been uh, attending several Taiwanese events over the years because of this hospitality and friendliness of the Taiwanese. And I'm pretty sure the community leaders who are here, Filipino community leaders who are here with me right now, are be receiving the same treatment from the Taiwanese. And that being said, I would like to continue the relationship between the Taiwanese and the Filipinos over the years. With the consent of the Taiwanese, I would really love to attend the Taiwanese event, not just because of their hospitality, friendliness, but also the good food that they have been serving. So, marami salamat. And as you know, in our language, in the Filipino tradition, we have the bayanihan spirit, meaning helping each other to achieve a common goal. And I'm sure that Senator Inverga would love that to continue, helping each other, no matter what ethnicities you are coming from, or religion or background. So please help us continue the legacy of Senator Inverga with the support of everyone here. Maraming salamat, mabuhay, and shishi. I wish this year's Kala Fest another great success. Uh, please enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, to share some remarks from our federal representatives, the Honor Honorable John McKay, Minister of Parliament for Scarborough Hillwood, as well as Ali Asabi, uh, Minister of Parliament for Willowdale. Good evening, everyone. once again this summer. Uh, I'm joined here by my uh, uh, very, very well-regarded and wise and one and only uh, colleague, John McKay from Scarborough Gilwood. We were also here with uh, Salma Zaid, who is the uh, member for Scarborough Centre, but unfortunately she had to leave a few minutes ago. Uh, but we're here because we recognize how significant this event is, and we have for you uh, a message uh, from the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. Now if I can read it to you, it reads, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to FET with the Philippines, hosted by Taiwan Fest Canada, fitting for this year's Dialogue with Asia series, 2018 is also the 120th anniversary of the Philippine Declaration of Independence. Since its very beginnings in 1990, Taiwan Fest Canada has been an important organization in recognizing different cultures in Canada through music and the arts. As we gather here this weekend, I wish to highlight the countless contributions of our Filipino and Taiwanese communities to our society. Let us enjoy the concerns and culinary flavors over the next two days. Thank you to Taiwan Fest and all those who have worked hard to make this weekend possible. Please accept my warmest welcome and best wishes for a memorable celebration. The Right Honorable Justin Trudeau. Thank you. And now, uh, representing the City of Toronto, the Deputy Mayor, Mr. Denzel Lyndon Wong, joined by City Councilor Jonathan Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. My 
my name is Denzel Minnan Wong. I'm the Deputy Mayor. This is uh, John, Councilor Jonathan Zhao. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, he's Taiwanese, so you should give him a bigger round of applause. And this is my daughter, Erin. She's a politician in waiting. Uh, so thank you very much for coming tonight. Uh, you know, it's really great to be among you today. I've got to tell you, this is one of three. I've got three kids at home. We don't get down here very often, as I'm sure you can understand. But coming down here, you know, you just got to reflect on how beautiful a place Harperfront really is. What a great place to have a concert on a wonderful evening and a great summer in a great city. Um, I wanted to thank uh, the Taiwanese community for sponsoring this event. They do this every single year for the benefit of the City of Toronto and the benefit of you. So, you know, they they do this every single year. They do this festival this uh, out here every single year. They, they do it because they love this city and they love this country. So let's give them a big round of applause. And uh, I hope you enjoy the show. My name is Jonathan Sao, as my council colleague introduced me, and I'm the city councillor for Ward 33, Don Valley East. And it's such a pleasure to be here tonight to join our friends, the Taiwanese, and of course the Filipino community as well. You know, I wanted to say thank you as well to all the staff, volunteers, the vendors, and everyone, and the artists who made this evening and this weekend possible. You know, I've had the pleasure of being in Taiwan on multiple occasions. And of course, besides the friendly and welcoming Taiwanese people, I'm always so touched by the culture in Taiwan. The music, the art, but most importantly, the food. You can't leave Taiwan without visiting the night market just a few times. And as my council colleagues showed, I know my night markets. And of course, I always know a good bowl of nyo and some xiaolong bao. So tonight, we're really doing what Toronto does best. We're gathering together to show everyone our culture of our homeland as proud Torontonians to share with our friends and our neighbors to build bridges of cross-cultural understanding and appreciation. So thank you again for having me here tonight. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great evening and a great weekend at the festival. Speaking uh, on behalf of our wonderful friends at Oxford County, His Worship David Mayberry, Warden of Oxford County. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, thank you very much for the invitation to be here, to be part of Taiwan Fest. I look forward to it every year. On behalf of Oxford County, I, uh, I want to say how much we have enjoyed and appreciate the friendship we have had with the country of Taiwan for now almost 150 years. We look forward to the continuing the friendship and our work, uh, or the work that Dr. Mackay started when he came from Oxford County. We look forward to uh, continuing that close working relationship we've always had. I'd also like to invite each and every one of you in, uh, in about three weeks' time to come to Oxford County for the Taiwan Choir will be presenting in, uh, in Woodstock on the 15th of September at 1 o'clock. And so you're all invited to come and enjoy another great musical evening. Thank you very much. And now to speak a few words on behalf of the official airlines, Air Canada. Please join me in welcoming manager Gwendolyn Wang. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a great time here. Uh, thank you very, very much for having us here for the fourth year. And congratulations, Taiwan Fest, for being one of the very big multicultural events in the community for the 29th year. So as you know, Air Canada is the official airline sponsor for the event and also a national flag carrier. We fly to 200 destinations around the world, 12 destinations in the Asia-Pacific region, and especially in Taiwan since last year. So since the 
launch last year in June 8th, we have only heard great things in the community. And we wish to serve you continuously. And I really hope you have a great time uh, this weekend at Taiwan Fest. So as you know, if you have been on our plane, we, you should make your announcement or in our bilingual language, English, French, and then like the language that's very fitting for the crowd. So please allow me to send some greetings in uh, language Mandarin uh, to the audience here. Um, it will be the same content, so don't worry if you won't be missing anything. <laughs> but hopefully you'll learn something while I'm speaking too. Uh, so I'm happy that you can meet me here today. That we're very happy that this is this year's official airline, which is Canada's biggest airline company. That from last year, July 8th, we launched the Taiwan Airlines to Taipei Airlines. From that start, we have become more intimate with the Taiwanese people. 我们真的感到在加拿大、台湾都是很温暖的地方，但大家有非常高的包容心，然后非常的温暖，非常的乐于助人。我们真的很荣幸有这个机会在这和您见面，也继续去服务这个台湾的社区。呃，那么像您可能知道，我们现在开始回台湾了。那我们其实从美国也有六十个城市是可以转机到多伦多、温哥华或者蒙特利尔或者卡尔加里，然后再继续去到全球。各地的，那我希望在日后的日子里可以在呃航空线上见到您，也希望这一周可以享受台湾 FAST 这个很好的活动，然后在日后一切生活顺利，身体健康，万事如意。Thank you very much. And before I end, if I have a perk for everybody, there is a special rate to Asia for 20% off, and the code is FlyHKG2018. So thank you very much again. Have a fantastic weekend. And now I'd like to just take a moment to uh, recognize the rest of our sponsors and partners. Organizer Asian Canadian Special Events Association, as well as our co-producers Harbor Front Center. Um, our co-organizer, the Taiwanese Canadian Association of Toronto, as well as our government supporters, the Canadian Government of Canada and the Department of Canadian Heritage, as well as the Republic of China, Taiwan. Of course, our official airlines, Air Canada, Diamond Sponsors, Metro Square, Vendome, uh, Fairchild Television and Talent Vision, Vendome, Fairchild Radio, uh, AM, FM 88.9, uh, Young Me Ocean Freight, Mandarin Restaurants, The Daily High of Toronto, The Epoch Times, uh, Mean Power Daily News, and our wonderful partners, the Society of We Are Canadians Too, um, the National Film Board of Canada, Young Taiwanese Merchants Association of Toronto, as well as the uh, Taiwanese Merchant Association of Toronto, and of course uh, the Taiwan Young Professionals and Entrepreneurs Association of Toronto. I would also like to extend a special thanks to our wonderful friends at the Philippine Independence Day Council, as well as of course the Canadian Multicultural Council. And now on to tonight's main program and what has become a festival staple. Please join me in uh, what better way uh, to learn from a culture than by learning about delicious food. When learning about culture uh, and about food, we can't neglect their full story from farm to table. Food is a great way to bring together family and friends. One of the many reasons to thank the presenting sponsor for tonight's concert, Mandarin Restaurants. And speaking a few words on behalf of Mandarin Restaurants, please join me in welcoming Executive Chef Wilson Chan. Thank you.